Hi there, my name is Miss Nolan and I am currently studying primary education at university. This is part of a project that I have on CDM and CPD. I've created a CPD playlist in order for teachers to have access to short and snappy videos that get straight to the point and that are easily accessible. We live in a world of instant gratification. We have TikTok, we have Instagram Reels. You know, we want the information now. We click our button, we get next day delivery. I know that this year has been especially hard for teachers. We have so much work to do. We just want some CPD that's quick, easy, at our fingertips. We can click on it, we can watch it. Um, but what I would really, really enjoy is this to be something that is ongoing. I would really like to use this strategy in um, my future schools. I feel like, obviously I've made this public, but um, you can do YouTube links that are just for um, specific people so you could just send them out to your school and that could be a online way of communicating with staff especially because you know meetings aren't being able to go ahead and you know those meetings can be quite long and drawn out by splitting this up into short snappy videos you can click on the one that you need and the information is there i've also created a resource pack which will be linked below in every single one of the videos so that if you're not a visual learner there's something for you if you prefer to read things it's down there below if you're hard of hearing it's down below i've created this um, in the hopes that this is something that is ongoing that everybody can access um, and also i've tried to include strategies that can be used during these times of lockdown um, each strategy can be used via online learning, whether you're doing Zoom calls with your students, um, whether it's something that you want them to produce for you. So this playlist includes grammar strategies that can be used in history lessons. And I hope that I can aid, you know, just one person in being able to introduce a little bit of drama into their history. As I think obviously history can be seen as a boring subject to children. Using drama and history allows children to bridge a gap. There is a separation between the present and children and obviously the past. So in history, I feel that if you don't go into drama and explore different things, then learning remains at a distance for children. They're not emotionally affected by what they're learning in any way. So by putting on a character's shoes or speaking to a character from the past, um, they can bridge that gap.